What happened? Does he have a pulse? What is what's happening? Uh, then, uh, oh my god. Uh, seriously? Uh, They took him from my mom's arms. He said, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. They said something like, we're not gonna kill you. So one officer um, uh, 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 held his uh, legs, feet, and crossed it and pushed it, you know, towards um, his butt. So he's holding that. And one, uh, and the other officer handcuffed him and knelt on, you know, the back of his neck. The officer who was kneeling on on his neck got tired and was replaced by another officer. But, you know, he's not moving anymore. I personally still have trouble believing that it happened. Um, that he's not going to come back. And when, in the moments that I'm not busy with all of this, thinking about all of this, um, when I realize he's not coming back, I just freak out. I, and it's, it's awful. And we don't want anybody to ever have to feel that way again. We don't want more people to have to feel that way. The opportunity we have here is to make sure that this doesn't happen to other people. We've learned that we're not alone, unfortunately. If this was a one-time thing, um, that would be one thing. But um, even here in Antioch, even today, there's another death in custody. And there have been a series just in this one city. And throughout the U.S., we've seen George Floyd with the same restraint. So it seems like we can't get any any reform to the way that policing is done. And the only way to do that is to get the word out. <laughs>